Mike Moffat at Fahim Jam. What a nice guy. You talked to him after yeah. the uh, segment. Super nice. Oh, my goodness. Just very humble and appreciative and grateful, gracious, all those right things that you want in someone who's... <laughs> But, you know, I, I don't think you realize, or we don't, our listeners will can go to our websites and see on the personality page, right, today, pictures of you and me and him. Yep. When you see him, and after he's in the studio, I about five clicks in my head of seeing him in the parts that he talked about. I know. I now remember the Iron Man part. I remember I now remember, Iron Man. I remember the Zeba Mark Harmon episode. I remember uh, a couple of the other movies he's been in. And and Argo, uh, small small part in Argo, but I remember him because he he does have that, as he said, the kind of bad guy look. <laughs> um, so it's uh, it's it's pretty fun, and uh, I wish him the best. And I love his attitude about what a statement. Did you hear him? This is what perplexes mm -hmm. me. I, I really just a little bit of commentary. Auto fair listener lines open six four five six one six one. This is what perplexes me. Why wouldn't, I mean, if you want to take anyone's word for that part of the world, and I know we have intelligence and we have great military advisors and, and, and the White House has people that they think they know their stuff, but it was so obvious to me after Iraq and the blood that was spilled there, whether or not you want to debate the politics of the war in the first place, right? Whether or not we should have gone in, Saddam Hussein, G.W. Bush, all the politics, right? Forget yeah. all that for a moment. Once the troops are committed, they don't make the policy. They don't set the war. They just serve, right? So we liberate and really do free Iraq. There's all these factions, all these stuff. To pull out completely in Iraq and not leave any presence there at all on a secure base was stupid. I'm sorry. I'll tell you, it was stupid. I, I, I don't have a doctorate in foreign policy. It will be stupid 10 years from now. It was stupid then. And all you needed was about 3,000 Marines left there or a base, and ISIS would not be coming that close to Baghdad. I mean, it's just so obvious to me. Why? I'd say this to the president, commander-in-chief, and all the respects, sir. Why did we keep troops in Europe? Why did we keep troops in Germany? Why did we keep troops in Japan? Why did we keep troops in South Korea? Why? Because we fought there. And you have an interest. Post-war. Now, here we are in Afghanistan. If we completely pull out, you just heard Fahim say it, it will lead to another 9-11 because that's the hub of big stuff over there. And you, all you need to do is keep a presence. So that if you have to mobilize quickly, if you, you don't have, you're not deploying them off a, uh, off a, uh, off a carrier. You're not, you're not doing long-range missions. I know it's maybe not the ideal service for the men and women to keep a base there, to be the targets of it and all that, but you know what? You can, in these secure bases, we built this mammoth embassy in Iraq. Why are we not stopping ISIS in Iraq after we sp spill so much blood there? If I was the parent of a, man, of a soldier, I'd be appalled. And they must be every morning going, I can't believe them. Why. You just heard it from Fahim. I guess his book is a good title. Fahim spoke here. Mr. President, you know, it's great to withdraw from the world, and we don't want all these boots in the ground and not advocating for the war. But when the bad guys are encroaching, you keep a base presence. We've done it. Why are we not doing it? That's a big, big question. And I have it really, really, really irks me because, it, again, you look at Iraq. No, the media is not even talking about Iraq. They're not even talking about it. And you got these ISIS, ISIS extremists who are beheading and marching in, and it can be stopped. And it's got to be stopped. I'd rather stop it there than on the streets here. News Radio 610, 967, all points of view. Welcome. We have a lot coming up. We are. New Hampshire's News Traffic and Weather Station back in a few.